he is known for being an Italian opera composer. He made most of his career in England, composing for Covent Garden and West End theaters. His name is Franco Leone. In the world of opera, one name stands out, Franco Leone, an Italian composer whose melodies have enchanted audiences for generations. Born and trained in Milan, Leone's musical journey took him across the seas to England, where he would make his mark on the prestigious stages of Covent Garden and the West End. It was here that Leone's genius truly flourished, composing works that would captivate audiences around the world. But it was his opera, Laura Colo, that would catapult Leone to fame. Originally written for Covent Garden, this masterpiece caught the attention of the Metropolitan Opera in New York, where it was taken up with resounding success. Laura Colo captured the hearts of audiences with its rich orchestration and emotive storytelling, cementing Leone's place as a legendary composer in the world of opera. Leone's talent extended beyond opera, as he also composed numerous cantatas, oratorios, and songs. His compositions showcased his versatility and mastery of different musical forms. And it wasn't just his compositions that garnered attention. Leone's skill as a conductor was also widely recognized, with performances in both the concert hall and the theater. Franco Leone's contributions to the world of music are profound. His opera, Laura Colo, continues to be celebrated for its timeless beauty and emotional depth. And his other compositions, from cantatas to ballads, showcase his ability to create melodies that resonate with the human soul. Leone's legacy as a composer and conductor will forever be remembered, reminding us of the power of music to move and inspire. Franco Leone, born in Milan, began his musical studies at the Milan Conservatory under the guidance of renowned composers Amilcar Panchielli and Cesare Dominicidi. In 1890, his opera Raggio di Luna premiered at the Teatro Manzoni in Milan, showcasing his talent as a composer. Two years later, Leone relocated to England, where he would reside until 1917. Initially, he worked for the music publisher Chapel and Company, composing delightful songs for acclaimed vocalists. In 1896, Leone ventured into the realm of dramatic music with his composition, Sardanapalus, a musical poem inspired by Lord Byron's play of the same name. The piece, performed at the Queen's Hall, received positive reviews, although critics noted the influence of earlier composers on Leone's score. The following year, his operatic adaptation of Washington Irving's Rip Van Winkle premiered at Her Majesty's Theatre. While the score received praise for its color and dramatic elements, some critics felt it lacked individuality and humor. Critics often commented on Leone's music, noting its melodious and picturesque qualities but also pointing out its lack of distinctiveness. Despite this, Leone continued to compose and in 1898, he presented the cantata, The Gate of Life, which premiered with the Royal Choral Society and was later performed by other choirs. He also took on the role of musical director for a West End show and became the conductor of the newly formed Queen's Hall Choral Society. In 1901, Leone composed the music for an operatic version of Hans Andersen's I.B. and Little Christina. Although described as an opera of ultramodern type, it received mixed reviews, with some critics finding it too realistic and southern in style for Andersen's northern symbolism. The opera had a limited run but was later revived for a short season. In the same year, Leone composed incidental music for James Bernard Fagan's play The Prayer of the Sword and published a song cycle titled Fairy Dreams, which showcased his compositions through performances by renowned soloists. Through his early years as a composer, Franco Leone displayed his talent and versatility, composing operas, choral works, and incidental music. While some critics found his music lacking in individuality, Leone's compositions showcased his melodious and picturesque style, earning him recognition in the music world. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.